Vlog day 94. Hmm. Are you a sleepy little guard dog? Yeah, it's kind of rainy out there. I could bring your food into the breezeway if you want. She doesn't seem to care, either way. Because it's gonna start raining again. It's really nice with the clouds and the wind. Cooler day. But if it starts pouring, I'm gonna be stuck inside. This place is getting greener every day. This island is beautiful. It's way drier than I thought it was gonna be. I did not expect cacti. Especially not this many cacti. Holy cow. What is this? Ooh. Oh, it is raining over there. When Bryce first told me about this place and uh, his plans and ideas, I thought it was amazing, especially because it's something that I definitely could have used when I was with Mercy Ships. But now that I've been here, I definitely feel like it works. I was feeling pretty lost in a lot of ways, like no direction. And to be honest, I would say that I only feel like I've got direction for about the next month, like into October. And then I really don't know what's coming as far as life is concerned. I really have no idea. They're dragging a board. Did you know you're dragging a board? Okay, just checking. Oh, hello, baby goats. <laughs> that convenience store is open. Let's see if they've got snacks. I want cheese sticks, very specifically. Cheesy, sparky success. So Tech was asking a little bit about how the water system works here. There's no natural source of water on the island. It's all purely rain catch. At the house it all runs underneath the main floor. So all that cement floor space you see in there, it basically is a giant tank of water. And everything that it catches off the roof goes in there. But the island has an emergency rain catch, which is right here. And it basically catches tons of water and then stores it in case there's a drought and people run out of water. Oh, I wonder if we can see down inside it right here. Nope. The mosquitoes in the church went nuts on my ankles. Like I was just sitting there kind of thinking, contemplating, and then I realized there was a swarm of mosquitoes around my ankles, like a lot of mosquitoes. And now my ankles are on fire. One of the things Bryce asked me to do while I was here was convert the stove to uh, something. I don't know, I need to watch some YouTube videos and figure out what I'm doing. Oh, I'm gonna turn the tank off really quick. Okay, so I have to take these off and then replace these guys. Uh, I'm gonna need a wrench. got to do it like five more times. So there's no no pressure here. I mean, we don't have a fire extinguisher on site and there's no firefighters on the island. So, you know, take it. Ah. Of course, the first one I took off has two options and I don't know which one I'm supposed to do. All right, so those are all done except for this one because I still don't know which one to put in there. That one was the worst, because look at how small that is. 
I, I had to use these. <laughs> and they, not, not fun. I'm not the handiest of people. Like this kind of stuff intimidates me. Obviously it's not gonna stop me from doing it, but it is gonna uh, leave me worried about, you know, burning the whole place down. So we'll try cooking on it tonight. And if no vlog gets uploaded in the morning, I guess things didn't go well. This part's gonna be the worst though. What the heck is in here? Ugh. Ah, cause I do these kinds of things all the time. Ow. I gotta back it up, <laughs> flip it, <laughs> and reverse it. It's supposed to be finger tight. Like I'm supposed to be able to just do this. And of course they lied. Those filthy liars. Ugh. When I said that was the worst part, I think I might've been lying to myself just to keep going. Ah. And that's how you take the door off of an oven. Let's not break this. That looks much more like propane to me. I think I succeeded. Nothing's exploding, so that's good. Just got done making a new video for Patreon. Hey, check it out. We're selfieing together, camera. Where I like the best of friends. It's been very productive, but mildly hectic, and my phone's about to die. So I think I will end the vlog with a brief time lapse of this delightful sunset behind me and bid you a good night. If you want to support me on Patreon and help me get like a better, a new lens that's wider and more versatile, please go to my Patreon and help me get to that goal. I'd really appreciate it. That'd be great.